Hill Devils fans, Hannah Hill here from Hannah Hill Hockey with your New Jersey Devils pregame preview. The Devils fell to the Arizona Coyotes Friday night. Just going to tomorrow is just going to be a better start, right? It's just playing the right way, playing quicker, harder, uh, winning more battles, and and so um, just making the game easier for everybody, and and uh, and then letting letting the chances come to us. You know, that's kind of what makes us successful: is we're not chasing, we're supporting, we're close, we're we're going at, at you. The Devils have been struggling with within these past two games of the early season is their start and as well as penalties. Just being ready. I think that's that's what it comes down to. we got plenty of skill and plenty of talent on this team, so um, you got to be ready to compete every night right from the first shift on. And uh, I think that's uh, yeah something we got to focus on and make sure we have a good start and just kind of build shift after shift. You can't expect Venisek between the pipes for the Devils and all the action begins at 7 o'clock. For handheld hockey, I'm Hannah Hill. And I noticed pretty early on in this first period of the New Jersey Devils against the Florida Panthers is how much stronger the New Jersey Devils start is compared to the past couple games. But it was the Florida Panthers who ended up finding to the back of the net first and that goal was scored by Sam Reinhart. And then towards the end of that first period, Carter Verhege ends up scoring, sending the Panthers lead 2-0 going into the second period. Something that we talked about with the New Jersey Devils so far this season is that they can't keep on chasing the game. The Devils put themselves in a difficult situation at the midway mark of this second period as Nico Mikulov of the Florida Panthers ended up fighting to the back of the net, extending the Florida Panthers' lead 3-0 going into the third period. The third period started off a little feisty as captain of the New Jersey Devils, Nico Heischer and Matthew Kachuk ended up getting into it at the start of that third period, definitely setting the tone. That I would like to see from the New Jersey Devils in this third period is to stay out of the penalty box. Reinhardt converts on the power play, making it 4 0. Fifth power play of the night, Halla ends up fine to the back of the net, and it looked like the New Jersey Devils were definitely getting some life back into them as McLeod ended up fine to the back of the net. And then shortly after that goal, it was Bratt who ended up making this a one goal game. The goal was scored on the power play, and to be honest with you guys, I thought that was the best power play from the New Jersey Devils that we've seen so far this season, as the Devils kept in the zone and didn't let up. The New Jersey Devils fought hard, but unfortunately, it was not enough to hold up against the Florida Panthers. The New Jersey Devils now lose their second consecutive game. The Devils will be back on it this Friday as they'll be on their first road trip of the season as they'll be playing the New York Islanders. For Hannah Hill Hockey, I'm Hannah Hill.